Hey, it's Quinn here, BahalaOutfitter.com. Hope you guys are well. Got a box in the mail today. As some of you know, I've been working on putting together a new whitetail kit. Uh, I'm down here in Texas, and I'm looking for something as uh, versatile as can be. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get down to one thing that will serve me well from, say, 20s occasionally. 30s to 70 really is the range. Probably most of that time is um, high 30s, a lot of sits in the morning at 40s, and something that can take me up to, um, say, 60. I like the Kuyu guide and the Kuyu axis, but the pants are just freakishly long. So far, the winner for that uh, versatility of range uh, for sitting is the Stratus from Sitka. So I have that, and then um, when I'm active or on the move, I have a jet stream jacket on the way, traverse for a kind of a mid-layer or kind of fill in a gap, and then the mountain pants. I also have the Kuyu attack pants, which I like very much. I am a 32-30, uh, so the Kuyu pants that don't come in short are just freakishly long at a 34. So if you're in the market for something, uh, you might want to consider the Kuyu attack pants if that um, that weight kind of suits you. Also, this is the Meat Eater, uh, now it's Meat Eater, First Light XD Solitude that is insulated. Um, I'm, I'm almost certain this is going to be too heavy for where I live. I grew up in Indiana. If I were there, I would um, wear it use it, but um, I'm not. So I think this would be overkill, but I thought I'd at least open it up and talk about it. One thing I like, the outside is kind of a hybrid between the soft shell and um, like that brushed fleece that you find on the um, Stratus. Now this is a nice well-made coat. Zippers are nice, thick, beefy, two chest pockets. It does have uh, hand pockets here, and then it also has this kit link where see how your hand goes all the way through. That is designed so that when you have the bibs underneath, you can um, put your hands through and utilize the bibs. Super well made jacket, feels nice. It is thick and it is heavy. I think you could run this thing 20s to 30 degrees and um, be nice and toasty. One nice thing about the bibs is that um, they do have full length zips. You can dump heat. You do not have the ability to dump any heat in the jacket. Cuffs are elasticized, but this is kind of a bigger, a bigger, thicker feeling coat. Um, if you're gonna sit in the Midwest or anywhere, like I said, if it's down in the 20s, and you're sitting there, this would probably be a great option. Um, I, I, I really was enamored with the idea of the bibs too. It also has harness pass-through here in the back. The issue for me is that being down here in Texas, uh, where I, when I am out west in West Texas, and it could get down that cold, I won't be sitting. I will be on the move glassing, spot and stalk. Um, so for me, the use case just wasn't there for this setup. Feels really nice. I mean, it's well thought out. You got your cinch downs for your, for your hood. You have a cinch down in the back to make it fit just right. It is nice and big. It is big enough that you could, um, you could layer clothing underneath as needed. And again, the kit link deal where you have the the um, ability to access those bibs right through your jacket is very uh, clever and well thought out. The exterior fabric feels sturdy and well made. No mark against First Light. Just for me, I probably should have gone with, say, their, um, maybe their Catalyst, I guess. They have one that is lighter. Um, generally, these things are usually at their website like 25% off, kind of a ongoing sale. The discounts were a little bit deeper 
uh, for Black Friday. So this was closer to 207 bucks for the bibs, 207 for the um, jacket. For the same price, I could get the Stratus pants for 185 and then the uh, Stratus jacket for 215 so it's about the same price and by comparison to that they're different animals I mean this you probably to get an apples to apples comparison you probably need to compare the fanatic to the solitude um, although I think that they've got the sanctuary which goes even colder however this Sitka jacket is just so much like lighter um, although the outside fabric does feel like you could collect burrs and seeds, it's not quite as thick, it doesn't feel as big. Even this one, I probably wouldn't want to be exerting myself overly. Again, you can't dump heat on this one, but that's why I have the jet stream coming. But if I have to just sit, and I have enough room under here to layer up a little bit, um, this still feels like significantly lighter material, and it could probably get me down into the 20s. So. For the price, um, the weight for me is a big deciding factor. I think that that really served the the XD light, the XD first light uh, sanctuary has a place, f probably for in the tree or in a blind if you're maybe windward. Uh, now they are windproofed, but it is a bit bulkier and heavier. Um, if you want to do anything where you're out getting after it, walking, or if you have to hike a long way in, you might even consider, um, if you wore the bibs, pack the jacket or pack the bibs, get to where you're going, you'll be heated up. Then as you cool, put that stuff on and you're ready to sit. Um, just a little on the big and bulky side to me. Really well made and nice if I lived in, you know, say, Indiana, Wisconsin, uh, maybe on the plains, if I were even in a, the in the Rockies and I had a stand where I would go and sit for long periods of time, that'd be a good option for me, just a little too heavy. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped a little bit. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.